Three of the four teen suspects had their first court appearances before a Hall County judge. Haley Mason was inside the courtroom. She's been talking to former classmates of those teenagers. And Haley, uh, they tell you that they used to be uh, really model students. Fairly decent students, according to some of the classmates I've talked to. And Sean, I want to note, I've been talking to most of these classmates through my phone. At least one parent stopped her son from interviewing with us just because it's such a sensitive subject. But those classmates told me that some of the suspects actually used to have perfect attendance until they dropped out of school and began committing crimes. Now, all four of them are charged with felony murder. Three of the four teenagers involved in the shooting death of Hall County Deputy Nicholas Blaine Dixon appeared before a judge today, not in person, but on video from inside the Hall County Jail. Each of the 17 year old boys is charged with being a party to a crime and felony murder. London Clements appeared first, telling the judge he would like a plea hearing. I'm sorry, say it louder for me. You want a hearing? A plea. A plea. He was escorted by two guards back to jail after telling the judge he would need a court appointed attorney. Eric Velasquez appeared next, escorted by deputies who are mourning the loss of their fallen colleague. Um, I'd like to talk to an attorney first. Okay. Brian Cruz appeared last, asking the judge for a court appointed attorney. Neither of the suspects will get bond. The fourth suspect, 17 year old Hector Garcia Solis, is still in the hospital recovering from gunshot wounds. Deputies believe he fired the fatal shot that killed Deputy Dixon. I've been talking to their former classmates and friends who tell me the four dropped out of Johnson High School in Hall County during their sophomore year. They were all supposed to graduate next spring. That's when friends tell us things began to spiral downhill. And right now, all four of the suspects will be held without bond. The three of them that are in jail currently do not have bond. Uh, the school system did confirm some of the details with me that these students told me that these students did withdraw from Hall County schools between 2017 and 2019. The school system sent me a statement saying that their hearts go out to the family of Deputy Dixon and that all flags are at half staff at every school today in Hall County. Reporting live in Hall County, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News.